a mysterious gigantic ball of light descends in Jerusalem directly on top of the Temple Mount and the locals believe it was an archangel. Wow, you seen it for yourself. A huge, brilliant ball or orb of light descend directly on top of the temple mount and then it kind of like did some explosion or release this blast of light and then shoot up into the air. Yo! <laughs> now, you can or cannot believe this was an angel, but one thing is for certain, this was something supernatural. And what I mean by supernatural is it was superior or it could break the laws of our physics, of our gravity and everything else. The way that this thing moved defies our physics. We don't have any type of aircraft known in our military or government today. So one thing is for certain, it was definitely a UFO. And I don't mean like an alien UFO. I just mean the actual definition of that, an unidentified flying object. And not only was it flying, but it was exuding a brilliant light. Now, why are some people saying it was an angel or an archangel? Angels are known to appear in different forms. And one of the forms that angels appear in are orbs or balls of light. I've personally seen them appear this way and many others that I know have seen them appear this way. A few scriptures that can confirm that angels do appear in this form is the fact that Jesus Christ himself is the light of the world. God says we his children, we are the lights of the world. The Bible says God is light and in him there is no darkness. So if angels are holy and they were created by God, why wouldn't we think that angels appear to be light just like God and even the devil himself remember appears in masquerades as an angel of light which lets us know that angels holy angels are beings of light the brilliant light of God now how do we know this wasn't just a UFO instead of calling it an angel after all there have been sightings everywhere personally I don't know but I do think it's interesting that this bright light descended directly on the Temple Mount and I'll tell you why for those that don't know the Temple Mount is where something called the Dome of the Rock is located the Dome of the Rock is said to be the rock that Jacob laid his head on when Jacob laid his head on this rock he got a vision of heaven and he said that this place is the house of God and it is terrifying. He was struck with such fear, reverence, and awe of what he's seen in heaven, he said he was terrified. This is also where Jacob seen what? Jacob's ladder that was reaching to the house of God. And on this ladder, it's recorded in the Bible that Jacob seen angels ascending and descending. So it is very interesting to me that right above the Temple Mount, which is where the Dome of the Rock that Jacob laid his head on, in this video we see an angel descending and then ascending. Pretty interesting and something to consider when saying that this could have been an angel. Now could it had just been a UFO? These recent bizarre sightings and phenomenon of seeing UFOs and it's being reported all over the world right now. But do you know what's interesting? Unlike this orb of light descending and then ascending over the Temple Mount, which is a site that is heavily associated with God and with the Bible, there was another orb of light or UFO that appeared right above another location. And this location was the Vatican. Now, 
if this was a real UFO with real aliens, which are really demons, right? What would they be doing hovering over the Vatican? Hmm. Well, I want to let you guys know, and I want to get into that, but you're going to have to head over to my Patreon page where you can view the full and uncensored version of this video. There's certain stuff I'm just not going to share with you guys online on these public social media platforms. There's no way. What I'm about to share is the type of stuff that gets people banned, blocked, shadow banned, restricted, and all the other things. So head over you guys. I will leave the link in the description of this video. I also leave the link right here. Head over, subscribe, and I will see you guys there. As always, I pray this message blessed you and shalom.